So Dagger has lost her summon magic. It's not something that you really blame her so much for. Oh, hold on, we got some letters here. That's an old one. If anything you're going to blame her for, it's being naive enough to think that maybe she could go and convince her mother to not be so evil. No, I mean, maybe maybe that's an unrealistic thing, trying to um, convince somebody that their parent is, is such a messed up person. But I don't think she could have guessed. Oh, he's right here. Okay, there are five pieces of this story located in the different areas around Pinnacle Rocks. That we're going to have to go and find all of them and then assemble them in the proper order. It's cooperation. The Ogre, that's a weapon for Zidane. We already have one though, we assembled it quite some time ago. I'm going to run around this place looking for more of those pieces of the story. There we go. Supposed to be random encounters here, but I haven't run into one yet. One left. From Garnet's perspective, it would have been quite It would have been quite a stretch from Dagger's perspective to know that her mother was such an evil person or doing such evil things. But from everybody else's perspective, all we've ever really seen, all we've ever really seen the Queen do are evil things and all that kind of stuff. It's reasonable to believe that she wasn't always this way. All right. Now, you just sort of have to go in the one order. Beginning is obviously the beginning. Then we're going to go cooperation. Silence. And then it honestly it doesn't I don't think it really even matters um which one you pick pretty sure both of them will result in you succeeding. That's good.
No, actually, I don't want to go there quite yet. In a hurry, huh? We will get back to this. Uh, there's another th uh, an item over here I want to go and get. That treasure chest. We also got this... Um, we got this from... <laughs> we got this from Rama. I, I, there we go. Now, unfortunately, doing this, I'm going to have to unequip desert boots, which is going to prevent me from using a scan for a while until I can get back with it. But it'll give us the ability to summon Rama, and then we can hopefully get that get that going. I also note that she has 79 MP and Rama only costs 22 to summon, so Dagger can actually Dagger can actually summon this once we get into a fight. Oh, Mithril Arm. There's supposed to be random encounters here. I'm trying to get into one so we can demonstrate our new summon ability. Because it'll be the first time we can summon anything in this game. Up until now, she just hasn't had enough MP to do it. It's explained in storyline as she was afraid to. Oh, there we go. Finally. Ah, perfect. Now there is something to note about the summons in this game. In the previous few, the summon animations tended to be pretty long and after a while people started to get like, irritated. Ah oh, crap, she doesn't have enough MP. I'm gonna waste it after on this. But whatever, we'll be fine. There we go. It didn't kill them, really? Ah, oh, wow, that was actually kind of disappointing, wasn't it? Now, something, uh, I mean, if they survive that, something to note about the summons in this game is Square Enix, or Square Soft at the time, Square, whatever you want to call them, kind of took to heart the idea that people were complaining a lot about how long the summon animations were. So what they did is they added a special little thing in this game. If I can get into another fight, I'll be able to demonstrate it. Where only the first time are you guaranteed to see the full summon animation. In this battle, when I summon Rama again, we'll get a very abbreviated version of the spell. And... Yes, a tent. No, 
Now watch this. It actually healed him. Ha! <laughs> but anyway, you get the point. It it um it was a lot quicker. Didn't require um like all the time. I'm not entirely sure if like the shorter version of the spell is weaker. I heard it is, but I never bothered checking myself. Alright, that's enough of this. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs>